Does your attitude foster gratitude? This is the Joyfully Married After Podcast, episode 33. This is Joyfully Married After with Heath and Tracy. I'm Heath. And I'm Tracy. We're joyfully married after how many years, baby? 26. 26 years, four kids, corporate jobs, entrepreneurs, and this podcast is our view on life through our lens. Let's go. We have spent the past year producing an eight-subject premarital course called What Else? Joyfully Married After. This course was created to help bring you clarity around why you want to spend the rest of your life with another person. Also showing you the roadmap to prepare, grow, and renew your current relationship into a joyful marriage. So if you're engaged, a newlywed, or married, need to refresh your relationship, and you're ready to be joyful, not just occasionally happy, head on over to joyfullymarriedafter.com right now. Baby, you know, personalities absolutely enhance or decrease attractiveness for people. Yeah, I can I can definitely. <laughs> there are people who are beautiful, but you talk to them and there is no, the, their attitude's poor or they don't really have any type of um, pleasantries to share. Sometimes they're, they're just a stick in the mud. Yeah, well, that's what we call it, <laughs> stick in the mud. Is that an old term, stick in the mud? When you envision a stick literally being in the, the mud, mud the it makes it a funny, doesn't it? <laughs> it really does. Oh, uh, you know, I remember we did a video one time and you talked about your inner happy girl. Right. Channeling your inner happy girl. <laughs> I, I I don't know what else to call it. Um, I grew up a pretty happy child. Uh-huh. And... Um, I just always kind of go there when I'm meeting new people. Yeah. I think it's important to foster positivity and a positive attitude yep. um, to to people you don't know. Yeah. And most especially for married couples to one another. Yeah. You have to stay positive. I'm always saying to my kids, stay positive. I, I dreamt last night I was telling somebody, stay positive. <laughs> You know, I don't even remember what it was, but I do remember yelling that at somebody. You're being negative. Stay positive. That PMA, that positive mental attitude is not about what happens. It's about how you think about what happens. Yeah. And you have to stay grateful. You have to stay grateful you're standing. Stay grateful you can sleep on a bed. Stay grateful you ate something, hopefully, today. I love it when the inner happy girl comes out. (sighs) She's a sweetie pie. Oh, so that really takes us to like uh, the first piece of this is that um, making the regular thing in life become special, right? You know, that's one of the things I always talk about you when I when I'm describing you to someone else or reminding the children that you literally are the cheerleader of the entire family. I am. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> yay, go! <laughs> yay! Did you have a good day, baby? Yay! <laughs> you know? And uh, I assume it's because you were a cheerleader formerly for so long in high school. And, I don't know about that. You know? I was I was always like that. Right, right, I right. always wanted to see people just be happy about mm-hmm. their accomplishments, no matter what it was. Mm-hmm. I'm that person who's grateful. Right. I've had people very close to me that I love yep. immensely mm-hmm. that are no longer with me. Uh-huh. So what I have a tendency to do is just be grateful for this moment yep. that we're in. Mm -hmm. Um, when you go through certain things in your life, when you lose things, material things, when you lose people, um, when you have a change of heart spiritually, Mm -hmm. there's something about getting someone else, especially your spouse to have a good feeling about whatever it is they're trudging through that day. When your kids hit the door, I'm telling you, it's, the crap they go through at school, uh-huh, you've uh-huh. got to start lifting them up. My whole thing is about lifting up. That's why Heath and I do this podcast. Mm-hmm. We want to see people who are married mm-hmm. lifted up within that union because that's special. Right. There are a lot of people out there that don't have another person. Yep. That are looking for another person. Yep. Seeking and wishing for another person. I am so grateful yep. for my personal person. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, and I want to let him know that. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. And when you do have that person, you want them to be just full of joy, just excited and on fire every day about life and about being married, about being in a, in, a, in a partnership cognizant of all of the blessings yeah yep. so many blessings out here right. especially us that live in this country mm-hmm. i'm not sure how it is to live mm-hmm. for a long time in another country mm-hmm. but i do know it's different yeah and i want to say i appreciate i appreciate yep. what god has graced us with mm-hmm. he's graced us with health yep. he's graced us with our sanity yep. he's graced us with one another he's graced us with our beautiful children yes that's enough for me guys <laughs> that's really i'm happy i'm good yes you know yep. i'm i'm really good and it's like if you don't get to a place of gratitude mm-hmm. and understanding that in yep. your marriage in your relationships in your partnerships mm-hmm. it's gonna be hard yeah it's going to be really hard. So start with what's good. Mm-hmm. Start there. Yeah, yeah. That's a great That's a great point, baby. And that uh, dovetails perfectly into the next point, which is really that your joy, that that passion that our audience can hear coming through you so is such an inside job. And I think that, that people, oh, yeah. when you realize and understand that the person who's opposite you, your spouse in our case, that your joy and the passion that you feel for life and the gratitude you feel about everything, about all of these things that we've talked about, is not my job to make you feel like that. Oh, no. That you have to be in a good place yourself, and then what the relationship that you and I have can enhance that. Right. That we can enjoy that together and that we can appreciate it together. But it's your job to make sure that you're joyful. You have to figure that out. Right. You have to figure out what makes you happy. Mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. love salt and vinegar potato chips. <laughs> uh, I love going to get in the pool. I just start swimming. I have a swimming routine mm-hmm. and I love swimming in the pool. Right. Especially after it's been cleaned. Mm-hmm. But. There are little things you have to figure out that make you just go, ooh, that just makes me feel so good. So when you're in that place Mm -hmm. of feeling so great and you look at your person, you can give that to them. You literally can give that to them. And then it becomes this circle, this this back and forth of just this good energy. I love it when I say something and my kids just start laughing. (laughs) And sometimes I have to go, are you laughing at me? No, we're laughing with you, mommy. Um, but I'm not laughing. Uh, but it's funny though, mommy. Okay, I'm glad I can entertain you. <laughs> but deep down inside, it mm. really makes me feel so <laughs> good that they look at their mom uh-huh. and they go, "Oh my God, she's funny." <laughs> that was funny. I'm gonna laugh out loud. Oh my God. You know. Yeah. Yeah. And, you- and they talk about it to one another. I love it. <laughs> so I add to it, but I'm not responsible for it. That, that, that was the point. No, because sometimes they laugh at your reactions to me. Right. right. No, I'm talking about from the perspective of joyful, the joyfulness being an inside job. Yeah. Oh, yes. That yes. I'm adding to that, but I'm yes. not responsible for it. And that I'm not, you know, the the singular cause of it. Yeah. That so, I, there's this place that we go to eat and outside of the, the restaurant, it says happiness is an inside job. Like when you're walking up oh, to yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. So that always catches my eye. Yeah. And when you think about when you're when you're in gratitude for your person, let's just talk about sex. We've uh-huh. talked about sex on uh, I think it was episode Another podcast. 30, mm-hmm. 31. Mm-hmm. And I initiate sex mm-hmm. with my husband because I'm in gratitude that he doesn't have a problem with having sex with me. I'm in gratitude. Mm-hmm. Now that might sound funny, but it's possible. Mm-hmm. That I'm in gratitude that um, he functions properly. Yep. I'm in gratitude that he knows how to make me feel good. Right. I'm in gratitude that we're able to share a soft, comfortable bed mm-hmm. that needs replacing <laughs> with one another. <laughs> I, I'm i showing my gratitude when I initiate sex with him. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I'm being grateful for him. Right. So if you start thinking about it like that, Mm -hmm. that's really going to enhance your relationship also. Mm -hmm. Don't be so stuffy about it. Start with grace. Start with gratitude. Mm -hmm. Start with understanding. Start with being thankful. And you, the world opens up 
when you start saying, oh, my gosh, this is great. I, you know, I don't know the little things. Yeah. I didn't have to sit at that red light as long, and now I'm going to get the parking space what I want to get in the shade because it's 100 degrees outside. Oh, my gosh. I am so – y'all, let me tell you something. The human temp is real. I am so <laughs> I am so grateful when I pull up in the the swim center's parking lot and there's a tree, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Parking, parking spot with a tree over it. Yep. Now, I used to not do that because I was weird about my car, mm-hmm. but I don't care. I'd rather it be cool yep. than I can get the bird stuff off of it. Mm-hmm. But it's nice to come back to a car that's nice and cool. Yep. So it's the little things. And you know what I do in those moments? Heath, you know what I do? You're thankful. You're grateful. I'm so thankful. I yep. laugh out loud. Yep. I say, oh, thank you, Jesus. Yes, I got this I, space. Thank you. Yes. And if dance. I'm with he, mm-hmm. I say that to him. Yep. Oh, look, baby, look, 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 look. Yep. You know, if I'm with the kids, I'm like, I'm oh, a- thank you. Look, y'all. Yep. You know, you have to always exude that. Just be thankful. Stay in grace. Stay in gratitude. Yep. Did you get that from me? <sighs> I, probably. <laughs> probably. <laughs> yeah, I used to laugh at me about my parking space thing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I've given up on that. I just, maybe it just rubbed off on me, dear. Because I have parking favor. Yeah, he does. Everywhere I go. Huh? Yes. And all that I do. So, uh, that's funny, baby, because, you know, that goes, you know, I think that our audience can see perfectly how, how encouraging you are. And so that's actually the next point on this topic is you want people who are going to be encouraging to you around your ambition, uh, around things that you're trying to do in your life, right? Whether it's business or personal or something that you really dream about doing so that you encourage, that you want to be with someone who encourages your dreams. I think at a very young age, Mm -hmm. I learned that it's not about me. Mm -hmm. It's just not. It's just not about me. I grew up with some beautiful people mm-hmm. that always expressed to me that they were grateful. And I'm talking kids I went to high school with. Yeah. That they were grateful that I was the nice person that I was. Yeah. And when you have people that you just don't know that well express that type of thing to you, mm-hmm. it does something to you mm-hmm. in, in growth. And just because that didn't happen to you doesn't mean you can't change it. Mm-hmm. So what you have to do is get to a place of understanding that it's not about me. Right. It's about others and in fulfilling others and getting people to a place of happiness, Mm -hmm. lifting up my kids, Mm -hmm. lifting up my husband, Mm -hmm. lifting up my friends, always saying, hey, it's going to be all right. You're good. You're good. Let me tell you what's great about you. Yep. It doesn't do anything but add to me. Right, right. Yep. It adds to me. It's better to give than to receive. It, and that's not just a saying. Uh-huh. It's not just a saying. My marriage is so full because I pour into it like crazy, uh-huh. Uh-huh. like a crazy woman. <laughs> my kids are happy and fulfilled because I pour into them like a crazy woman. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people say, oh, it drains me. Uh-huh. You're, is something missing there? Right, right, right. If it's draining you to pour into your spouse, mm-hmm. if it's draining you to pour into your children, mm-hmm. what are you mm-hmm. pouring in really? Yeah, yeah. What are you really pouring in? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because the mere satisfaction of them getting that love and understanding and and just ex- ex- just uplift and, and from you. Yeah should just pour it's it's like like it like it pours right back into you <laughs> it does it, it's a weird thing yeah. i don't know is maybe we need to figure out there's something <laughs> scientific about that <laughs> but i can literally feel when each one of my kids mm-hmm. is down mm-hmm. i can feel it because yeah. i'm so connected to them because right. they allow me to be connected to them mm-hmm. And same thing with my husband. I automatically know when something's wrong yep. because I'm connected to him mm-hmm. Because I connect to him right. because I'm thinking about him. Right. And he does that with me. So we're connected. Mm-hmm. We're connected in that. So when he doesn't feel right, mm-hmm. I know it. Right, right. And I you're my biggest it. cheerleader, baby. And you encourage me to dream and be ambitious. Every day. Yep. Every day. That's if awesome. I don't do it. Who going to do it? Who going to do it? Yep. I got to do, do certain things myself now. But you, you are very encouraging. 
And I appreciate Aww. that. I appreciate that about you. And that is another example of fostering attitudes of gratitude, gotcha. which takes us to the final uh, one that I wanted to talk about. The final one that I wanted to talk about really was uh, the consciousness of the beauty and the magic that is what we call life. Oh my gosh. You know, and I think that. <laughs> that sounds uh, so altruistic. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, I think I learned, uh, I think I learned that from my mom, you know, just uh, in the simple things. I remember, you know, driving from Millersville, Georgia to Atlanta, Georgia. Okay. You know, we've been to grandma's for holiday dinner or something. Right. I've and done those drives. Yes, you have done those drives. And when we arrived back at the house, uh, my mom would always say, thank you, Jesus. She taught me that. You know, and it was just a really interesting thing, uh, you know, that as a child, you know, you think to yourself, well, why does she say that every time we come back from somewhere, you know? And really what was operating was just a, a mindfulness, a consciousness of, hey, I made it from one location to another location and it's I didn't have simple. an accident. It's just that simple. I, I, another car didn't plow into me. Right. That we had a great time with family. That uh, the food was awesome. That the um, the drive was uh, without incident. We didn't get any tickets. Right, right. That right. we we got back uh, safely and no one has broken into the house. Yeah, that, that's another thing. You yeah. Know, that, I mean, there are a myriad of things that you could be grateful for. And I think that just when you're mindful, when you're consciousness right. of them, it's just, it's an amazing thing. And it really transport you to this place of just always being grateful and having gratitude about the 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 minute things in your life it's really powerful when you do it together mm -hmm. i know heath and i we traveled to dc and atlanta quite a bit mm -hmm. and the same thing when we pull up to the house mm -hmm. if we haven't seen the house in a week or two or whatever uh -huh. that's the first thing we both do yeah thank you jesus <laughs> and that's we're believers we're christian and yeah. we believe jesus christ is our lord and savior mm -hmm. we're not saying you have to you know, praise Jesus. That's what we do. Right. And we love him and we know that he delivers us. Yeah. But you need to find that place mm -hmm. of gratitude. Right. That, that works for you. Mm -hmm. Jesus works for us. Right. Just letting y'all know mm -hmm. you should try him, <laughs> but it's, it's important to find that, that thing, that person mm -hmm. that you can say, Hey, Oh my gosh. Thank you. Right. Thank you for delivering. Thank you for providing. Mm -hmm. I thank God for provision mm -hmm. all the time. Yep. Because there are people who have no food. Yep. There are people who have no shelter, mm -hmm. much less a car, um, much less a place to park their car inside their house. <laughs> Come on, people. Come on. Let's be grateful for where we are in our relationships. Yep. Speaking to the single people out there, be mm -hmm. grateful mm -hmm. for where you are. Yep. That you're whole, that you still can find somebody else, mm -hmm. that you're still functioning, that everything mm -hmm. is still, that you still are forming new relationships. Every time you form a new relationship, say thank you. Yes. It doesn't have to be the one. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is, say thank you. Yeah. I met a new child of God today. <laughs> I met someone. I met someone who wasn't off it, off their rocker. Right, wasn't trying kind, to kill me or stab me or shoot me. They were kind to me. It wasn't uh, right. necessarily a love connection, but it was just it was great that it, we met. That we met. Stay right there. Right. If someone on the street says, "Hey, you look great. Hey, you look beautiful." Thank God. Yeah. Thank God He sent that person in your life. And you never to know. give you that little. You know, don't turn your nose up and just say thank you and keep it moving. I saw a picture today on, uh, I think it was on Instagram. It was a picture of J-Lo being at a baseball game with A-Rod in oh, 2005. Oh, so cute. Are you serious? Yeah. And then it was a split screen, a split picture of them today with he's actually like has his arms wrapped oh. around her. Whereas the one in 2005. They were just there together. Was, they were just. You know, they were just taking a picture together. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> but the point is that you, you don't know where you these know things where will going. take you, right? Yeah, and you so when going. you're when you're in gratitude all of the time, then some of these things can play out in ways that you never even thought possible. Yeah, we need to stop looking at other people's lives and uh -huh. comparing our lives to theirs. Uh -huh. 
because you know, the story my mom always tells me, uh-huh. you put everybody's problems in a brown paper bag uh-huh. and put them in the middle of the room. Yep. By the time you start opening all the brown paper bags with problems, yep. you'll be looking for yours. Get my bag back. Where is my bag me, of let problems? Let me, let me just work with these those. are some crazy problems right here. <laughs> I, I don't just, want none of these. I'm going to just work with these. I'm going to work with the problems I got. <laughs> And that has stuck with me. She was so right about that. So don't ever look at your life, look at your relationship, look at your relationship status, yeah. look at your body. I'm thankful uh-huh. for my body. It's not perfect, uh-huh. but it's doing me well. Yeah. Yeah. It's doing me just fine. Mm-hmm. Be thankful for your face. Be thankful for your hair, curly, straight, wrong color, right color, yeah. your brittle nails. Be uh-huh. thankful. Be thankful for all of these cool things because that's you. Mm-hmm. And there's somebody to love you. And if you already have somebody to love you, understand that yeah. and be grateful in that. So thanks for joining us for the little things. And remember, your attitude fosters the gratitude. Boom. Thanks again for listening today, folks. If you liked any of what you heard, please like, comment, and subscribe to our podcast. Tell a friend, too. You can engage us at HeathenTracy.com for all the goings on in our world. Queen Tracy, speak to the people. Bye, loves.